to lift weights? That is the question. I have been given the pull-up challenge. Let's see how I do it. Multivitamin, a million dollar fitness industry. Do we really need them? Strength training is one of the best ways of achieving your fitness goals. Yet this area of the gym is also the most misunderstood. So I've put together a list of the top 10 most commonly perpetuated arguments against strength training. And let's you and me play a game of fact or fiction. 1. Women will build big bulky muscles if they weight train. The recommended 3 days of strength training per week is not going to make you look like He-Man. Ladies, even if you were to lift very heavy weights, you can't look like He-Man because we don't have the same levels of testosterone as men do. So unless you're taking hormonal supplements, this is a myth. 2. Strength training can tackle spot reduction like nothing else can. The body stores fat all over at a subcutaneous level just under the skin and the decision of which stores get burnt first, that lies with your unique body system, not with you. Attacking one muscle group with rigorous exercise will build the muscle in that area but it may or may not burn away that particular fat store. This is a myth. Broaden your perspective and your workout. Aim for overall fitness not unaccomplishable, disheartening goals. Three, lightweight and high repetitions improves muscle tone. Heavy weights and low repetitions increases muscle mass. Largely, this is true, though genetic factors and diet are also responsible for any individual's responses to resistance exercises but it's a good idea to get to understand your own system to know how much resistance is enough. Using very light weights for many repetitions, for example, may prove ineffective and lead to hardly any muscle development.